All right, well, welcome back, everybody, to Burgundine Grand Edition. This is the Ascaris LP here, and um, so yeah, that's what we got to get into. We got to get into this, start this up. Let me get the chat up here in case people want to leave some kind of message, and uh, we'll get going. So I'm pretty well set to just start rumbling, start going right now. So all I got to really do is maybe just check up on you know just check up on the castle I don't think well maybe there was a couple things I don't know 20 points I could grab a 20 pointer here and do something with that maybe but let's see what we get for 20 points well scorpion could be kinda helpful let's go that direction pop it on there and we'll just go I think I can also attack. Um, I think I can also attack down south too. So I think down south we could probably do an attack with uh, Zemeckis' team, just because Kai's there, and that'd be probably a good idea. Probably to level up Zemeckis just a little bit. I don't need to level them up too much, but just enough, and they've got a formidable force that. Yeah, I think that could be worth it. So, oh, let me get the uh, the game volume up. I don't think you can hear that right now. All right, so you probably hear that. I just don't want it to overpower my voice. My voice is pretty deep and low. And, uh, yeah. So, what we got to do is, uh, <laughs> you know what? I may have forgotten to switch some things here, so let's take a let's take a minute to put this around. Maybe organize this a little bit better. I'm not sure what to change though. Let's see if we can change this for something here. Well, that would be a better option, but I do have a level seven wyvern, so maybe we'll do a wyvern. That's only level one, so. And that's a 30 point there, so what else to do? I don't know. No, that'd be too much. Let's push this around this way. That's 25 points, that's a level 4 that can go there. And then we have 35 points there, which isn't much. Yeah, that's not much there. Maybe there's something else I could do. I don't know. Maybe there is something else. No, I can't swap any of these pieces here. I think... Um, let's, look, let's look at what we can summon here. Not a lot. Nothing great. I guess I'll just get a couple ghouls just to, just for some fodder effects here. So let's do that. This one's level three. It should hold up okay. Oh, and then there's that one too. Well, if the story moves on, I'm going to need these characters here to hold defense, so... I might need to use these characters. I might use, need to use these monsters uh, for some other purposes. So let me check to make sure the chat's okay and it's kind of working here. Just to make sure. Just to be positive. Let's put up a little, little emoji dude there. All right, I need to lengthen this out so I can have access to that. All right, good. All right. Okay. We're in the good. We're in the gold. Let's get moving. All right, so that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I don't think I want to quest anybody right now. I think uh, questing could be not a great thing right at the moment.
Let's just send them all there. And most of my attacks tonight are going to come from this direction here, though. So that's just to push some territories. Zemeckis needs to level up a little bit. My Malay both need to level up a little bit, too. That'll be a good uh, little experience for them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me do one more thing here. So everybody knows. I know this is the holiday season, but I am still at it, everybody. Still doing stuff. Apparently it's showing <laughs> my analytics. <laughs> Which, uh, I don't know how that... Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was not what I was supposed to post. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Goodbye! Okay, I can't post my video right now unless I go to my own video and watch it too. It'll create distortion, so. Alright, so. No more goofing around. Time to go fight something. Let's see what's here. Okay, so this is pretty good. That'll be a good fight. Uh, Queen Leoness is probably here. Nope. It's Patternus. So it's only one holy word, so I can deal with that. Alright. Let's execute. Let's do it. Sorry, Kai, but uh, you gotta go down this time. Not entirely my desire, but yet, playing as a Mechus, I guess it should be. You know? So we gotta win as the Empire here. Um, yeah, I could take the Unicorn over there. Actually, yeah, this this could work. Yeah, this could definitely work here. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be hard for her to get here. I, I'm probably going to have to put her down the road. And then I'm going to have to try to squeak off to the corner here so I could kind of line up with this Tiamat and stuff. Or the, the, I mean the Hydra, that's what I meant to say. So, it's pretty cool. This, um, this little area gets marsh. The original does not have marsh here, I don't believe. I think the swamp was added into the Grand Edition. Give it a little more, you know, some more dynamics to it. Uh, should I go here? I'm not really set up to fight yet just yet, but I do have two, two Hell Dogs. So I could possibly be okay. I could start up the fight. Not too worried, really. Not too terribly worried. Mm. Not sure where to put you. I think here is okay. Yeah, there should be okay. Right there. And we'll get you out in the front. I guess the hell dogs are going to be the front line stuff here. Oh, wait a second. Can I do my Mela Storm here? In the, uh, in the swamp? I might be able to. That would be crazy cool if I could, you know. Do the Mela Storm in the swamp.
Well, that might be it. That might be over. But that's okay because I'm not going to focus on uh, Kai right now. I need to decimate the queen. I need to get her out of the picture because that way, you know, I can advance a little bit easier. Okay, well, you're making this really easy on me. Super easy. Not even, uh, not even slightly problematic for me here. Alright, how do I want to do this? Approach it like this. Possibly. Ouch. That was a good strike. Ooh. This dog's a little bit beat up here. Now, I think I have the white spear, so I should be able to do some good damage, but... Um... You know, I could go... No, I'm just gonna sit right there. I can heal up here. Do a little healy spell. Get this rolling. Okay, 106. A spear throw might do it. But I'm not totally positive. So I have a howl hellfire here, which this won't kill her, but this will definitely weaken her enough. Can easily get this done. Yeah, I'm throwing with white, so this will be good for her. I'm just going to keep her with this white spear this whole rest of the game because it's going to come in handy at the end. I know that much. All right, good. She went up. Nice. All right, let's get Malay up here. Let's see if we can do anything. I don't know if they'll retreat right away or, or not. I have no idea. They probably should just due to the fact, but... You know AI, sometimes they like to stick around. So... Alright, loot. They're gonna stick around, that's cool. I get a little more battle. I'm perfectly fine with that, actually. It's not a bad thing. Well, I think I, I've got the option to... Uh, I might have the option to do Mela Storm. But we'll have to see. We shall have to see. I wonder if I should get an angel over a unicorn, though. Do I have one on my team? Like my other team? I don't know if I have an angel on my other team. Um, yeah, let's not kill it then. Just in case I need it. I kind of forgot. It's been a, it's been a week. <laughs> it's been more than a week. Because... Um, a little vacation and stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, let's move there. I'll heal up Mr. Famine. Get this guy healed up. Probably should put Balkos in the back here or somewhere out of the way. I don't really want him right in the way of everything because I want I want this guy here to be able to do something. So I oh <laughs> I was thinking I could do it to the other side but yeah. Okay that'll be it for that turn. I don't know if Kai's gonna do anything he just moved his guy completely out of the blue. He might just retreat. The other guy stayed though. Yeah, that's that's really kooky and crazy they did that. I think they did that because they knew I'm sort of trapped in that sense. You know, I can't get through. Um, I think I might have an angel. I might be screwing myself over, but this is good experience for her if I can get this, if I can get her another kill here. Whoa, that was uh. 
That was a good hit. Alright, let's get her up in front. Hopefully this will do it. Good. Okay, good. That's nice. Alright, we gotta get uh, something up ahead here. We can't have the dog getting hit all day. Cannot have that. And you're kind of badly damaged too, aren't you? Well, not too, but too much, but trying to play it safe. Trying to play it safe here. All right. Well, she's not going to really get into the fight. Let's do flight on. I don't think it matters because he goes next. But let's do flight on the. Uh, uh, I don't know. Guess it doesn't matter. Let's make the hellhound fly a little bit. Do that. Can you heal anybody? There you go. And that probably does it. That probably does it for this battle, because I don't think there's anything else I can do. Nothing can move far enough to attack anymore. And it's his turn to go, so whatever you want to fight that I have, it is your opportunity to. <clears throat> so, I'm going to check out one thing here. Let's see if I can see this here. I'm sort of interested in seeing what this looks like. Oh, that's cool. It does work. So, never tried that before, though. Okay. Oh, it does work. That's cool. All right. Let's get back to the game. They retreated, <clears throat> and nice victory. Level 29, good. Agility 2, strength plus 3. That's amazing. That's exactly what I needed for Zemeckis. I just got to work on Myron Malay for a bit, get them a little bit stronger, and uh, yeah. Escalio's going into hurry. Whoa! Whoa! Escalio has gotten into Hervery. That is a very rare thing to see. It's a very, very rare thing to see. Now, Escalio can do well, but I hardly ever see it. At least personally for me, it seems like that's kind of the case. I don't see it that much. All right, Esmeri, Saraha, and Ro Rokad? Yeah, those were the guys. Those are the people voted for to go into the final fight against the snake. So got to use every opportunity to level them up now. Every single one. Oh, and I do have an angel hero. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, it's level 9. Perfect. I might be able to get a vampire lord here. Might be able to. Oh, Saraha's the barbarian. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. It's almost kind of the team that I want to, but I'll probably take a couple more centaurs instead. Maybe. Depends on what I can get. I might, uh... uh or maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of monsters I want for this team to go to the fight the snake. I guess it depends on what they can hold in the end, you know? But... That might depend on that. 
She just turned level 20. He'll actually be pretty good in the front line. I don't see too many... Uh, there's really nothing with Frost that can hurt it too bad, so... The Phoenix could be good in the front lines for now, especially with some other leaders, you know, taking different roles and things. And it could be a good thing. I'm not sure what I want to change Rokot into. So we gotta move down here. Get to over here. Hey spider, how you doing today? <clears throat> yeah, I, I I took one week off and I think everybody thinks that uh, I completely vanished off the map. <laughs> I don't, my channel doesn't exist anymore because <laughs> of uh, Christmas vacation and all that, but I'm going to do today. I might even do Friday for Brigadine too. So if you want to come by on Friday, I might be doing this also then. Possibly. Um, let's go there. Let's do that. So basically I'm up to... Um, we got to take out Leoness. That's the next target. Um, and the reason being is because when certain people have leave, which... If you've seen some of the previous videos, I've already had a couple people leave my army. Um, it sucks, and I don't have enough knights to hold all this territory, so I gotta find a way to do it. You know? So, all by myself, I gotta figure out a way to do this with less knights than before. So that's gonna be a challenge on its own. You know, that's good you're doing good. Um, hopefully you had a good, uh, hopefully you had a good Christmas or holidays, you know, whatever you had. Hopefully it was good. Um, mine was pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. So, I'm feeling in pretty good spirits. Gotta take the Empire, gotta run amok through here, get get my armies down to being able to hold just maybe a, a, a few knights to be able to hold all this territory because um, if it gets to a certain point in the game I, I might not have enough knights for three, I might not have enough armies that consist of three knights is what I'm trying to say. So it could get tougher for me going a little bit further, you know. So we'll see. Uh, let's do that. We'll start up the fight, sure. Why not? Ah, uh, should I put you there, though? I don't know. I should do that. I think you should come over here. No, not there. Right about there. You come over here. And let's pull you down one so we can start putting the hard spell on everything. Um, that's actually a good place. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's put you up to there. So you get a few monsters that... Well, I don't know if I want a few monsters going that direction. Mm, that'll be good. That's good for now. I think I want you to go there, though. Yep. Okay. Just one down more. And you guys look pretty good. You guys look hot. And let's put you right about there. You right about there. Okay. We are set to go.
Okay, gave me a level 10 dragon now. That'll be nice. George is in a good healing position there. He's not, you know, going to sacrifice himself or anything. So he's in a good spot. Saraha might actually get to level up somewhat here, though. Should be pretty good. D's in a good spot. He's not getting hit with Holy Word. Holy Word could hurt a vampire pretty badly, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nick is named in here. And it's so funny. I name people and they, they show up until I name them and then they disappear and I never see them again. So maybe in the future I won't name anybody. So they they stay watching. Because <laughs> it seems like everybody I've named has not been showing up to any of the live feeds anymore. So... I think I might ban that in the future. As a little bit of a no-no. <laughs> no more of that. <laughs> so, yeah, Nick is a flying scorpion right now. Um, and, uh... Yep. That's what's going on. So, I think I'm going to harden up the Death Needle and the Vampire Lord. Oh, jeez. Uh, the Holy Word could hurt him to some degree. Right now, the Death Needle needs a hard spell. It needs protect. It's right on the corner. It could get walloped pretty good. No holy words, but still. Uh, should I attack something right there? I don't know. I think I just want to play defense right now. I just want to do defensive stuff. I got 300 points to get. I might be able to get it, though. You know? I know, it's a shame. I know. People want to be named something and I don't see them again. They might come back sporadically, but it's like I do one thing for them and they're just like, okay, I got what I got I got my uh, say, I'm done. It's like, well thought you wanted to see the whole thing through, I guess maybe not. So I don't know. So uh what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to level up Saraha. I want to get him up to Berserker pretty quickly because he's not... Like, the Barbarian's okay, but you know Ninja's probably better. Um, good thing for this battle, though, is that he's not a black element, so Holy War doesn't really hurt him as badly. So that's the, that's the good part, though. That is the good part. Acid Breath. I got some healers, you know. And stuff like that so I'm gonna focus on Rokad the unicorn and the angel for heals because the Phoenix is in the front line so I kind of need to do that I could do a nice holy word though that could help me well that's only one black I'm hitting but I'm hitting two leaders with it kill off will get hit Gilof could go to the front lines after he got hit, too, though. You know, after I kill something. So Gilof could go to the front lines. But I do get two leaders with this. And... I kind of want to. I sort of really want to, you know? Because I need to hit this rock, too. So I think this is the best option, really. I get four extra monsters out of it, so... That's what I think. Well, there's a good amount of white, you know, things there, but I want to hit that rock. I want to hit the Hydra. Get the leader. Oh, kill the dog. Okay. That'll work out. Don't have to worry about that now. Uh, who to shoot? Now, that's enough that I think uh, Sarah could kill. So I think that'll be fine. do that yeah let me know if you can hear the volume okay or if it's you know anything I think I need to adjust if you think I need to adjust something um, you know I could be okay as long as he doesn't stone me I could be okay so I'm still starting off at pretty high health right now so I just got kind of worried with that whole, you know, 
I get kind of worried with stoning and Holy Word and, you know, D being out in front lines like that. He, he's close to Vampire Lord, but he's not quite there yet. A couple of hardened spells should change some of the dynamics here, you know. It should be a little bit better. So. Who to level up, though? Alright, well, let's level up. Let's see if my Rush Axe is enough. My Rush Axe is enough to kill it. So that's good. More than enough. Yeah. Good stuff. Alright, you stay right there. Uh, you will get hit with uh, breath and all that. But you know what? This will be uh, very educational for them. <laughs> Rock girl. I don't see them sticking this one out. They're just too weak here. Just too weak. I'm just gonna pick them apart. Oh, your Wi-Fi? Okay, at first I was thinking you were saying wifey, but you're saying Wi-Fi. Getting some really bad leg. I don't know, it could be just the holiday season that's uh, like that. I cannot say. Cannot say for the life of me. Sometimes those things happen. Ooh, that was a nice hit. All right, we got to do some healing here. I know I could level him up that way, but he's going to be here for a while. You might as well do some healing of some kind. All right, so you got to heal you. And then... And then I gotta have my angel... Heal up D. Yeah, I think D really needs it the most. Let's do that. Uh, I might be able to have him attack. I don't see any other... Thing I have to immediately heal up right now, so maybe I can. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens here. I could go around. Oh man. And I have friends that don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> they can see me advertising it. They don't even know what I'm doing. This is such a obscure day. I feel like I'm ninjing all of YouTube. Nobody on YouTube even knows I'm live. <laughs> Except for you, Spider. You're the only one that figured it out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I could get 100% here, but let me check out my odds here, though. 87. I felt pretty confident. It's a white on, you know, it's Griffin trying to attack me. I'm a, I'm a knight. I'm a tanky knight. I'm not going to take too much damage. So what do you got for snacks, Spider? I've got some pickles. Holiday fudge and beer. That's all I have. <laughs> I'm like totally, totally drained. My whole fridge is totally drained. There's like nothing there. That's all I got, so. <laughs> he stays aware of its friends. Well, that's good. It's good to hear. I mean, I do too. I mean, when people go live, I typically get there and I, you know, watch what they're doing, especially if they're kind of supportive of, supportive of me. I'm sort of supportive of them too. But this is also the holiday season, so a lot of people are probably still doing other things, you know, because a lot of people take off, like, long vacation time and all that. i got to respond to this, otherwise it's just going to keep...
So, all right. Sour gummies. Oh, man. You and Paul could be good friends. He, like, eats sour gummies all the time. It's maybe too much. I don't know if you eat it, like, for a snack almost every day. I think it's uh, not a healthy thing for him, but he likes it, you know? But we all have our unhealthy snacks and stuff like that, I suppose, so. Who am I to deny? All right, cool. Hopefully nothing else weird happens until after I take over Leoness, or at least I get down to Gloom. I just want to get down to Gloom, and then I, I'm going to feel so much better about everything, so. Um, let's check out... Let's check out some classing options here. I don't know what I want to put Myra through. I'd almost want to put Myra through some other class just to give her something, but I don't know what to do. Or maybe I should just keep her as a Lancer just for the strength points. I don't know if there's another class that gives her just the same amount of strength points as a Lancer does. Um, I know, I think it's on the Brigadine website, but I don't have the time to check right now, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, I do have feel. I do have feel. Take over somewhere. So there is that. I have Ice Javelin. That's a good one, but the white one is going to be better, you know? Because <laughs> you probably eat them all the time. Be like, Sour gummies! Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> That's what Paul does. <laughs> He's just... He'll eat the whole bag. Like, I'll talk to him for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and he'll be done with the whole bag in that amount of time. And I'll look at it like, when did you eat a single one? I never even, like, notice he's eating it. It just somehow goes from the bag into his mouth, and it's gone. It's like chips. Like, if I offer him a bag of chips, he'll eat the whole dang thing. Like, it, he'll almost lick the, ba the bottom of the bag of chips. Like, he, it's, uh, it's strange. It's very strange. But, um, no, 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 not some. Let's check out classes here. We gotta, we gotta do some classes, Spider. So, this Marine's 21. I just need a little more for her, and then I can, you know, make her something else. Uh, Dragon is good to class. I do have some things I can move around to class, because I think I'm gonna go for a couple gold dragons here. So I might do some gold dragons here for... For fun, so let's see what we can do. Thirty-five. Oh, geez, you know what? Oh, this sucks. Oh yeah, I, I can't use a scorpion right now, anyways. Sorry, little scorpion guy, but I can't use you because I got a class. Something's up. The vampire lord, the dragon, the angel. Everything's gonna need an immense amount of points me to work its magic okay this will work for now I think it will there we go <laughs> we're going gold dragons this time I haven't done enough gold dragons almost all my playthroughs I've done red dragons and it's usually because it's conservative you know I'm conserving my rune and all that, and um, red dragons are very, very good. But um, I'm probably gonna take some gold dragons into the uh, bull noil fight. So you're gonna see how good they are with their photon beam and all those deadites, you know. Which you probably know, but you know, I just want to showcase it. You know, have fun with that. So let's see. So Saraha, nope. 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 Okay, so we still have a ways to go. This one's level 10, though. I didn't know that. You know what? Forget that. We're taking level 10 right right off the bat. Yeah, we're going to do that. All right, so now how are we going to change this up? That's 100. That's 85. 
No, that won't work. Oh, that's 95 too. 50, and I have a 45 somewhere. Nope. <laughs> They're all 50 too. All right. We could do this. We could do that. I could probably. Nope, that's still too much. Ah, oh, man. Trying to figure this out. It's going to be a while until I can think correctly here. Okay, so this temp, this is kind of a temporary fix, although it doesn't seem to do much <laughs> for me. <laughs> 50, 35. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing me anything right now. Ah. Uh, wish I could. But I want to level all these things up too, so that's that's the hard part. Oh wait, why am I giving that to Gish? Ah, oh, jeez, he's not even coming with me. What am I doing that for? Rokad. Now I'm mixing everybody up here. Okay, let's get you back here. Let's give you to Gish. Uh, level 7, I can give you to Gish, I think. Not too many points. What did I have? The unicorn here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Now maybe I can. What's this? 45. Put that up there. And that is 20 points right there. This could work. Okay. Okay, we got an arch Archangel here. I might have to get rid of the Unicorn, though. Really? I don't know, dude. I don't know what the issue is, really, but... <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Um... Okay, so I think I organized this correctly here. Got my Archangel. I've got the Hell Dogs that I want. And I've got the Phoenix and the Silver Dragon here. So this can't class up anytime soon, so. Um Yeah, definitely. Anybody that jumps on here and wants to say something, I'll definitely say hi to them. They've just been all very quiet. There's people that do come by, like to watch, and they don't like to say a single word. They just like to silently watch me play the game. So, I always have tons of ninjas follow me all over the place for some weird reason. I am liked in that direction. And, yep. So, what else can we do? I don't think there's anything else we can do. We might as well just move on. Let's just move on here. I don't think there's anything else to do, so let's go and attack something. Let's see what there is here. Fight. I think if I go this way down over and oh yeah that'll be the best way to do it all right those three to go there let's save it up save up the game just uh, just because and so yeah so I'll also be looking forward to Friday because um, I didn't really plan anything for Friday yet. So if uh, if you're looking forward to seeing something on Friday, you're going to see more Burgundy and Grand Edition. So <laughs> Caroline's going to come back though. 
Yeah, that, not with Kai, Elute, and Janfritter. If it was a bunch of wizards, like if, if Elute wasn't there, then uh, Drist could have probably won because they're coming after Drist and all that stuff, you know. Uh. I don't think he's going to stay for this. I'm just going to auto for a bit, see where it takes me, and uh, see if they actually want to stay. Hope this doesn't bite me in the butt, though. I really hope not. I just did level up a few things, but I can't really... I can't really work on leveling up the Gold Dragon all the way, or the Archangel all the way, because I just don't have the room for it. So I'm going to work on some of the lower ones to start. I think we'll start, you know, we'll do it that direction, so, yeah. And I got a ways to, I got a while to get there. I don't think the, I don't think the centaurs can get all the way there right away. All right, so you're okay going in that far, but the dogs, I think the dogs could go all the way. Which could be a problem. <laughs> that could be... Alright, so you're okay there. Let's put you right about... Mm. Let's put you next to your little buddy here. You're flying anyway, so you're okay. I don't mind that. Got a nice little flying scorpion here. Which eventually I'm going to give to the dog. But Flying Scorpion is actually not so bad. It gives it a little more accurate, you know, a little more agility um, as far as evading most attacks. Um, I think except for a Wyvern. A Wyvern can probably hit it a little better, but... Plus the Forest for this one. This is a pretty good strategic way to do it, I would say. Because uh, the one in the Forest, yeah, he can get hit three ways, but he's in the Forest, so it increases his agility, uh, making it a lot harder for them to hit, which they could still hit. You know, they can still all hit and crit and all that stuff, but um, but possibilities are better for me, actually. So I got two hits, I got one miss. They don't really have too many more ranged things to hit me with, except for Holy Word. And that's about it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to pull the dog back, though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull the dog back. I'm gonna probably put Saraha in its in his place. Although that's still kind of a a scary position. Actually I might I might not have to if I just do an area heal. I could heal up the dog all the way and not even have to worry about it. So Yeah, we'll we'll just do that. That's that's a good idea actually. Let's just do that. So I'm gonna put you So I don't take too much damage here. Well, who could be in the front lines that I'd like to have there? Maybe that the angel could hold the front a little bit. Maybe. Because I want the dragon coming straight down. So, I think I'll do it like this. Yep. That wyvern could still hit Nick pretty good. So... Let's take out these rocks. I don't want Leoness having rocks at the end. It's, you know, the potential for stoning me is is going to be really rough on me, actually, you know. And I think I just have to get that down to... Flame attack might work, but... It might not, too. I don't know. Okay, so... We have to do a burn attack up here. If that doesn't work... Then I have an option to shoot it. Which I probably should. Yeah.
don't feel like burning through my other dog at the moment. <laughs> it could be a bad idea. It's already kind of low. Yeah, I want my dragon there. Let's get rid of one rock. Get this out of the way. Goodbye. Okay, Nick, you are in line with two divine rays. That is not cool at all. I cannot afford that. Good bolt attack something. Uh, I don't know if he can totally kill anything, though. Let's see what Rush Axe has percent. 72 is not bad, but I don't know. I think I already had some good, you know, some good accuracy before, so. Don't want to screw it up right now. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little bit of a healing word, and I think we're going to pull the dragon over here. That's a nice one, I like it. Okay, can we come down here? Is that going to take me out of the blue? Ah, uh, yeah, that does take my dragon out of the blue. That won't work. Let's do this. Let's do a nice soothing voice. Heal up our leader and our hell dog. Oh, geez, the hell dog's there for Divine Array, isn't he? Yep, that's a fact. Yep. I kept thinking about the Holy Word so much, I wasn't thinking about Divine Ray. I just want to get rid of these rocks. That's what I'm really key on trying to do, trying to accomplish here. Okay, kill off. So, Spider, what did you get to do for the holidays? You want to divulge that, or was it good, or how did it go? I think Patternus and Esmery might be the same level. <laughs> you kind of needed to do that. I know you could do Divine Ray and some damage, but you really need to heal up your team because you're you're losing monsters like crazy. This is not going to help you at all, uh, Leoness. It's just it's not going to be a thing that's going to help. And I got Stone. That sucks. Okay, I gotta go into heal mode to some degree here. I really do. I really, really do. Let's see, what could cleanse and what could heal? I don't have anything that could heal him from there, but I could probably get him over. Probably just pull him out of the way. I can't be having the uh, scorpion die right now. That is a no-no, and I will not let that happen. So, could Divine Ray the stuffing out of him. You know, there is that option there, too. Uh, this guy, is he detrimental? Kind of, sort of, yeah. I sort of have to go with some heals. I don't have enough heals. For this team, and I can't lose a silver dragon right now, you know, that would be freaking terrible. That would be terrible. Do I need a healing word, though? It's kind of the thing. I'm trying to figure out. Well... 
for all intent and purposes, a healing ward would kind of help me. Probably need to protect Nick, do a healing ward. Ah, oh, man. Just gotta try to make sure the scorpion doesn't die, you know? Healing ward could help. And you're level 21, so you'll be okay. Shoot down more rock birds. Then the hydra's gotta go. <sighs> Making this really tough on me here. I really want to do a Geno Frost here, but. I'm just getting so low. You guys got some key components pretty low, and I think I need to heal up. So I can't lose the uh, the Silver Dragon or the Hellhounds. I'm in a good spot for healing right now. Not everybody needs it, but mostly the ones that, I, that are in the front lines really do pretty badly. So... Oh, I can't even really kill kill off either. I don't really have what it takes right now. Uh, I could bolt attack this thing. Or I could bolt attack this thing. A bolt attack might kill this. And I could possibly focus on something else. Let's try that. I think that could work. I think he's good enough to kill it. 134. I think it should do it. I mean... Yeah. Okay. Let us work on... I don't know. There's so many healers here that this is kind of a tough... Sh kind, of a, kind of a tough call. Who to take down, because they're going to get a heal pretty quickly. And Nick, you got to get out of here, buddy. You could take another hit from a Wyvern, but you can't take many more hits, so... Um... Really don't know. I think I might be able to kill the angel with a hellfire here. Maybe. Just maybe. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, it's it's close, but you know, it's not quite there. Um Could have tried for this Griffin. But the angel felt like it was a little more important. I don't want him divine raying me again, but, you know, what can he do with that? All right, so you get to go. We could definitely finish some of this up here. I think I could uh, do... What could I do here? Let's just go straight down. Well, I could kill the angel, actually should benefit me here. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything more to this battle. I think it's kind of done. I kill the angel. I do an attack. Um, could probably move down. No, I can't even get past that point. Uh, probably have him kill this thing here. Oh, really? Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well. Should I heal him up? No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Anybody else need a heal, though? Nobody, really. Uh, I don't know what to do with you, Mr. Phoenix. I have no clue. I uh, think we shall put you there, I suppose. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Leoness's forces. It was nice playing you, but you have to go. Oh, and he gets to go first. There you go. All right. So we're the same level. Patterness and Esmeri are the same exact level, so...
So I thought I'd get to go first. I, I think that's the way it is, right? I think we're the same level. I'm just changed to an enchantress right now. Come on, big money. Okay. All right, well, we got another victory there. That's nice. That's good. Okay, so nice little victory in our uh, in our bag. Uh oh. Let me turn up the game volume a little bit here. Hopefully that's okay. Pool oil, bah! Why are you here? Such an unfriendly greeting. You know it's interesting. He just said, "Why are you here?" Like he's already been there before. Uh, it's uh interesting, you know. Have you forgotten how I helped your coup? I've come today to ask a favor. I will give you nothing. You would be so cruel. It's such a small favor. You see, you've done such a good job scorching the earth on your own that my plan is going quite well. But I thought of a way to speed things up. What? You want to know? <laughs> I will tell you. Kador, explain. Yes, Master. What? What is this? Zemeckis, you are merely Bullnoil's pawn. The war will escalate if you die. So it's time to sacrifice you. Bastard. Who now he understands. Farewell, Zemeckis. End him, Kador. Escaped. Ugh. Zemeckis. It seems you saved me. You must not die. Your fate is the fate of Forcina. Bah. You speak of fate too? Like it or not, we must live in a chaotic world. The only thing that decides the future is our own will. No one can decide for us. Not even God. Insert disc two. Okay. We gotta move on disc two, everybody. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Looks like a nice successful switch. And uh, we are on this final tier scenario. We are on disc two now, so. Let's see. Uh, yep. Kador's gone. 
he dumped off all the monsters here, so now I gotta reorganize all this stuff. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray for me! <laughs> okay, first things first, we're gonna need Kuna here. Level 20 Succubus. Cannot live without that. I want this little dingy here. Pegasus, Unisex, you're coming back into place. And level 8, Dragon. Probably go there, get rid of some ghouls. Don't need any of that. Already got enough. My plate as it is. Uh, level 7, what are we going to flip for level 7? Uh, do that. Don't need level 1. And... And it looks like we've cleaned it up. Okay, anything else I could do? I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of frontline stuff here, though. That's kind of a problem. That will be a problem. Uh, 25 points there. Well, I guess I'm going with a ghoul. Okay, well, that's what happens, you know. So now you got to see the story. Well, a lot of you will come back here later and watch the story later. Because uh, it's the holiday season, so a lot of people are still on vacation. Um, but yeah, I guess when you get to... I don't know how many casts I have right now, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I guess about 24 castles, it seems, that... Um, you lose Kador and you lose the other knights that um, I talked about before. I've, I've done this years ago, so I already know about, you know, I know what happens. But now you get to see what happens with the storyline for Escaras. And um, it ain't a happy scenario with some of those parts, you know, so. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Alright, can we go? No, not there. <laughs> Nope, not there yet either. Uh, she didn't drop me anything either, so... Yeah, we're still pretty good. We're still pretty good. So, I've been going for about an hour now. I'm going to do maybe a half an hour, maybe another hour. So it's only going to be like an hour and a half to two hours for these. And so if you want to drop by, you're going to have to drop by on time or a little bit sooner if you want to be part of the live stream. Because... Um, I have a little more time now, so I might put some more effort into this. So it sort of depends, but temporarily, Fridays will also be Burgundy as well, in case you want to know. Um, let's check out this team here, though, because I didn't, I'm not sure I totally looked at this. Caster is a ninja now, which is crazy, crazy cool. Um, Yeah, this one ain't so bad. Oh, and here's D. D is right here. I wanted him to go into this team and level this one up. That's where he went. I was wondering where I put him. Well, we'll get back together. I'll get them all back together, you know. Uh, hey, dude, how you doing? move over my game here so I can see your name there oh it's you you just subscribed so um, a run without any summoning uh, it sort of depends I'm not sure it would work for the Empire I mean it could work I guess it depends on um, kind of who I'm playing as I think 
I think Escalio and the Empire would be the hardest ones to do. Maybe even uh, New Omechia. Possibly New Omechia, because I don't think they get a lot of great monsters and stuff, but... Um, I've been doing challenges and practically all my LPs. And this is the second last one for my normal one. So I've been doing challenges and I completed most of them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might in the future. I'm not sure if I want to right now because, uh, like, what, if you go and watch my Escalio LP, which I actually, I have these, I have all of them in their own separate LPs, but I made, like, a big LP to include all the LPs that I did with Grand Edition. So, if you look at my Escalio LP, I beat Bullnoil in two turns. So there was a record for beating Bullnoil in three turns, and a lot of people can if you do it just right. But I beat him in two turns. So I beat the world record for that, for YouTube videos and that. And I beat the snake in three turns. So I had a customized team that I built personally for myself that I wanted to use, you know. So that's how I did it. And so for like a challenge like that, that kind of challenge could probably ex exclude... Uh, some of my ideals as far as like trying to like kill something faster or do it like my personal way because then I'd have to rely on capturing everything and I don't know interesting question though I'll have to think about that but um, it can't happen now because I've already completed most of the challenges here for this run uh, the next one someone gave me a challenge they're not even subscribed to me though so I can't really take their challenge. They're subscriber challenges, so if they're not subscribed to me, I'm not gonna pay it any heed, any attention. Um, cause, uh, yeah, otherwise I'd call them random random person challenges, but <laughs> anyways, I'm just kidding, but uh, let's get on with this. Um, Maybe when I do the regular stuff, because after I do the Grand Edition, I'm going to go back and do um, Legend of Forcina without the GE. So at that point, I'll probably be doing a lot of uh, extra challenges and stuff, because there's no true ending to the game. It was made without the ending, like this one has the ending to it. And so there's like, you know, no extra fights at the end that I have to worry about. So possibly for something like that, I might. Um... So yeah, so I think I'm pretty well stocked so far as far as everything I need. I think I have to figure out if this is going to be satisfactory, and it could be, but I'm a little nervous. The only, the only trump card I have is the succubus right here, you know? So... And whatever they send after me is going to be very strong. It's going to be very strong. It's going to be good. It'll be good stuff. So... Uh, I don't want to quest anybody right now, because Rod might go away on his own for, for a little while. And I only have one extra night, so once I get down to here and take over Gloom, then I'll be confident enough to start questing other knights. So let's just do that. And we'll go with that, so. Alright, organize, execute. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Let's do that. I could level up D. But that's really the only person I need to level up here. There's nobody else I really need to work on, so. I'll just go with this one attack, and I'm just going to work on one team right here. But let's save it up so I, got, say, so I have uh, slot 2 organized, you know, slot 2 saved, so well, maybe possibly but the thing is, like, I'm building uh, my own personal team. Like, most of the time I'm building my own personal team to fight one of the end bosses, and I'm trying to do it to beat it in record time. And uh, I like to do that, 
you know, because it's it's more challenging, you know, like instead of just going to beat it, I'm trying to beat it at a, you know, faster rate, faster level, um, trying to see what I can get out of it, you know, so. Like, just what I said with the Escalio LP that I did, I beat Bulldoyle in, rec in world record time that nobody has ever posted before, so that's kind of what I like to do that, and uh, if if I have to like capture something and it's not what I want, because with Escalio I did it with um, a good amount of archers, so I need more centaurs, you know. If I don't have enough, I'd have to find a way to capture one, and it could be a good challenge, sure. But um, I'm taking along a lot of other challenges too, so it's uh, it's it's a lot of challenges, you know, that I'll be taking on. Um, so Because I usually do this, um, that I've been doing for a while, is doing these LPs with challenges added to them. Like I've just been saying, most people just play the game and uh, they don't take any challenges, they don't really do anything, they don't, uh, you know, do anything uh, different than almost anybody else does. So. Um, I don't like where the unicorn is, so I'm going to probably probably do some blocking motions. This could be bad. <laughs> this could be bad for me, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Alright, Saraha, can you get... You can't even get all the way down there, man. You're disappointing to me right now. You're disappointing me. Very much so. I think I'm going to lose. I might lose the unicorn. I don't know. I'll definitely consider the challenge, though. Possibly for the future. You know? It's not a bad challenge, really. I mean, there's there's been other challenges people have uh, given me or done or whatever. I've had some pretty tough ones, too. Alright, well, we're still, we're pretty good right here. We're not doing too bad. I think, uh... We'll go here so I can heal. Um, hardest one was, uh... One of my other subscribers wanted me to get like close to hitting on the money. Initially, he wanted me to like one shot a leader in Grand Edition here, and it's only possible on a couple leader or a couple leaders, just like full health to death. It's only possible for that, and so I was struggling to do it for the longest time during this LP in the beginning, and then he changed it, you know, because he gave me the challenge, so he can change it to something else if he wants to. So he changed it to like close to on the money, you know, hitting a. a a leader, you know, for its hit points to death, you know, like a very close range shot. So he gave it to me, um, so I gave him another challenge to give to me that, um, you know, to kind of give him something else, because he, he changed it to make it a little bit easier. So he asked me to dimension two things in one battle, and I was able to do that, like, in the very battle. So that one wasn't so hard, but, yeah, there's, there's plenty, and plus, I put it in a list down below, you can look at the, uh, description of all the challenges so far and so that's what was uh, brought up for this time so uh, I don't know what I want to put in the front here I could put my angel there but I gotta get the unicorn out of the way I cannot stay there I cannot just leave her sit there like that uh I almost have to airy heal. Or 
I could just replace him, so... Maybe we'll just replace him right here. He'll be okay. Yeah, we could do that. So, I had those challenges for this LP, the last one beforehand. I had some other ones. Um, and uh, when Valkos was doing this at the same time that I'm doing this for his channel, he gave me some challenges too. So I completed those. So, yeah, I have usually have a plate full of challenges going on. Um, it's not easy. But I try to get them done. You know, because I've been at this for... I've been at this for years, so... Just playing the game normally without a challenge is... Quite easy for me, actually. I can... I can burn through enemies pretty easily, so... Give me the challenge actually makes the game harder... For me to actually win. <laughs> so I may end up losing some fights. Which, lately, some of the challenges have been hard enough that I actually did lose a, a, a few fights. I think I lost, uh... Three... Defenses. But the Empire is also really hard to survive with. You know, when you got all the best monsters coming at you all the time. It's it's kind of hard. Oh man, I'm going to kill her with the center shot. But I could holy word everybody. There's just too many... There's too many whites here though. I, I'd rather just, you know, for us. There's only one blue. Let's do that. So... I think the hardest challenge for me, though, was kind of the personal challenge of me trying to uh, kill Bullnoil in two turns, which I was able to do, which is probably the hardest thing to do in a game, I would say. Um, I don't think there's almost anything else harder than, than doing that by itself. Um, because other things are kind of possible, but trying to figure out a strategy to kill Bullnoil in two turns, that's difficult. So, like, personally for me, I think that was the hardest thing. Um, but, like, subscriber challenges? Yeah. Nobody's giving me an almost impossible one. Like, the challenge that you're giving me is... Uh, or you're kind of proposing that is um, is pretty difficult. I, I'll admit that. I wouldn't say it's impossible though, but it is pretty difficult. Let's see what can we do here. Like a burn through. To the Phoenix. Okay, I've got a plan here. Phoenix will be okay with a fire attack. And then I could have the other Hell Dog come in here, and then Saraha can get up here and just beat it up, and I'm done. Nice! Nice. Alright, what level are we at with Saraha right now? Okay, so we're good to go up a level. That'll be good for him. Get rid of these rocks. Can't have that. It's going to... That is going to be the death of me if I have too many of these rocks here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Holy Word could hit him. Another attack could hit him, but nothing serious. He's actually doing okay. How about we level up? Let's level up the Death Needle here. I think I might be able to get this gin, you know? I might be able to do that. As long as he gets a good hit, he probably can level up. 99%. How could that ever go wrong? And I've seen it go wrong, too, so. I've missed with 99%. It was not enjoyable. Yep. I 
I mean, plus, you know, too, I've been playing this game from the start on the hard mode. So, it's not, uh, not the easiest thing, you know? Wish I could heal him up, but I can't right now. I might lose him. That sucks. I want to lose the guy. Where can I go with him, though? Uh, I gotta kill something to make them go away. I gotta get closer. I can't even... I can't, I can't uh, mess around with this. I gotta get closer. Number two... Saraha, 19. Oh, he's gonna go first anyways. I can't stop that. Nice! Very nice! Oh, yeah! Okay. Let's take a little chunk out of this thing here. Ouch. Okay, so they're kind of staying here. This could hurt. This could definitely hurt. I'm a little worried about my hell dog. It's the flying one that's in the forest. Or no, it's not even in the forest. Kind of looks like it though, but. So yeah. Is that uh Lassifras? I think it's Lassifras. Oh, that sucks. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. Feeling the dire straits here. You need to heal up right now. So, we'll still be able to win this one. But it's really risky with these types of characters. I don't have a lot of tanky things. I have a lot of support, but the few leaders I have are tanks. The hell dogs are kind of tanks, but fighting a queen, you know. You know how that goes. Hellhounds and all that stuff. Um, so he's okay for now. I don't think there's anything else that can really hit him. Or hurt him enough. It's back up to here, so I can't get hit too much. That's it? That's all the damage I can get on him? That's crazy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's do that. I'm gonna have to kill that Hydra. I'm gonna have to kill the Hydra, otherwise it's gonna kill off my Pixie. I know that much. Um, it's either I move the Pixie or I kill the Hydra. You know, it's one of those two things. Um, you know what? We could do a double Holy Word, or a Holy Word and a Frost. And that would definitely weaken up a lot of things here, you know? Okay, so she's expert. Alright, so I don't have to get any more kills with her, but I getting some experience would actually be pretty good, you know? So, let's do that. So, the hardest thing you've gone through in this game is the level 10 monsters only challenge. You delete any monsters you have that aren't level 10 plus. Yeah, that would be excruciating. The thing is, like, I could try something like that, but it would be so hard for people to watch something that long, because it would be a very long thing, and it's it's like, if somebody wants a particular challenge, it's really only just them that wants it, it's not everybody else. Everybody wouldn't watch, like, 30 episodes of me trying to play with just a few monsters the whole way through. I don't... They'd wait till the very end, and it would just be kind of tiresome for me to, you know, like what you're saying. Yeah, it just would take forever. I'd have to record it at like almost the very end, otherwise it would be brutal to try to watch me grind my way through that sort of stuff. 
And that would be, on its own, that would be seriously difficult because not everybody gets a lot of level 10 plus monsters. And uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure how well it could all turn out because you only get like two or three level, I think you only about two or three level 10 monsters to start. Oh boy, yeah, I gotta shoot this guy here. Get him out of the way. Perfect. Oh, that is perfect. Now my angel can go up like crazy. Here we go. Holy word. Good. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, because, I mean, if, if I did it, I could try it myself, but, like, doing an LP of that, that would just take so long that people would just stop watching, because... I'd be like, when is this gonna be done? And that's literally why people like stop watching after a while, because it just it's too long and you're not able to complete everything that you wanted to try to complete. Or if you do, it's gonna just take forever. Um That's the only reason I'd be hesitant to do it. Because <laughs> it's a time factor, it really is. You do a super long LP or something and it just it's never ending. Like, for me, personally, I wouldn't watch an LP that was super, super long with tons of extra things just to, I don't know. I, like, I wouldn't even watch my own one if I tried to do that. So I, like, if I actually did it, excuse me, but if I actually did it, I would just, like, start near the end of the game. Or I did it, but then there's like no way to show like the initial part of it because it'll just take forever. Try to capture everything. Um, I don't know who to shoot. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it would just take so long. People wouldn't be that interested. It's there's certain things, and I don't mind, and I appreciate people suggesting certain things, but there's certain things that some people really want to see but it's only just a small percentage of people want to see it i wouldn't mind seeing it myself but like to watch the entire thing it wouldn't really work well for like you know an lp or something like that it would be more like a project type thing be like okay this is where i started this is what it looked like and you're just given like a small synopsis of like flipping through the months and showing like where you got to but not all the battles and not all the stuff and you get to the end and then you make like 10 videos of like fighting you know whatever you capture and stuff at the end that 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 might work but that's like a really big project you know so that would be crazy <laughs> if you could you know if somebody actually did that cuz i'd commend them for trying it i really would but that would be a big big project that would be a huge huge project to work on uh saraha 10,000 experience points. I can't. Can I get in here with you? No, I can't. I want to try to get a kill on Isophis or something, but. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, I might be able to get in, get out. Let's see. One, two, three, four. If I can't get out, I'm going to lose my Hell Dog. Oh, I got an idea. Oh, this will work. This should work. He'll kick my hell dog to the side. And I'm okay. I'll use their own tactics against them. Watch this. I might kill him though, but... Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, and I can still move. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Okay, Saraha, go ahead and uh, finish the job here, bud. Ooh! Goodbye. And an extra 100 hit points, just for fun. Look at the flowers, Isfis. Look at the flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> that's kind of mean. <laughs> Maybe not, though, but... <laughs> He talks about flowers all the time. I just thought I threw in a Walking Dead reference there. 
flowers. <laughs> oh man, I need to heal him up. If I can do an airy heal here, that would be perfect. All right, let's start up with a nice little airy heal. Maybe, maybe we'll kill this guy. Maybe we'll level up. Uh, Level up Rokot a little bit and do a little bit of Healy Healy. Because I can't see anything else I can really do very well right now. 105. Good job. Alright, you do your thing, little Phoenix guy. Let's heal everybody up. Boom! Oh man, this battle turned out really nice. Really nice. Heal up all the main characters, cast characters I needed to heal up. Oh, man. If you got any other suggestions, though, you know, for something that, uh, you know, is a difficult thing for a challenge or something like that, you know, that I could do in an LP, that wouldn't co that wouldn't have cost me, like, way too much time. Um, definitely, uh, you know, throw it out my way. I might uh, give that a try. Somebody else suggested something else, like, don't lose anything at a, you know don't lose any defense or anything at all i don't know if it was like a serious challenge or a joke or something like that but uh i don't know i suggested like hey that's a good one for next time i might i might try that but he's not subscribed to me so i can't really take his challenge because these are subscriber challenges it would be fair to my subscribers to take challenges from random people that don't want to watch my stuff that would be unfair and uh just would be good. So I really want to level up D though. He's expert. She's expert. This is great, 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 great. So now I have so many options here. <laughs> you could turn into a scout. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> could have her as a scout. What does she get as a scout? Healing, healing word. Holy word, Geno Frost, Beguile, oh man. Her attack sucks though. Her strength isn't anywhere near that. That is not going to work for me. Alright, what do I get? Mystic. I could do Mystic with Geno Bolts. What do I get with Saint? I think just Divine Ray. A Halo. Whoop de doo. Well, Solid might work. Solid could be a good thing. But the thing is, she's level 22, so I have five levels to work with. So I could change her to a saint at any point in time, but I have to work with five levels on something to get her somewhere else. I could do... Well, it's just Ice Fall, but it's still not bad. Holy Word's better, though. I'm not really getting much besides Dimension. Besides Dimension... Ice Fall is nice, but if you have Holy Word, I mean, obviously Holy Word costs more and does more damage than Ice Fall will. I think it does. Or I mean Divine Ray, what am I saying? No, wait, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, that's right. Jeez, why did I think that? I don't know why I thought that. Oh man, is it is it almost time? Am I starting to brain fart <laughs> to the point I'm gonna mess up the power spells? <laughs> the potentiality for their attacks? Maybe so. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, if I do... If I do Vixen, I'll get a lot more MP. So... I think Mystic follows the same pattern of rules, too, but... Um... Mystic, I'll get Geno Bolt, which is always good. Um, which has better reach. But Dimension could come in handy. Dimension could come in handy, actually. And... It'd be interesting to see Esmeria as a vixen slash saint. You know? 
It could be really interesting to try out this combo. I might I might go this direction actually, because I've I've done Myx Mystic so much, but I haven't done enough Vixens. So maybe I'll go Vixen for this. And then level up to that. Alright, Saraha, so you are going into new classes and new things here. So we're gonna make you a self-healing ninja. Make him a pyromancer, a priest. He's already a shadow master. Uh, we're gonna make you self-healing ninja. Go on berserker. Okay. All right. Now, Rokod, you are expert too. What can we make Rokod? Well, movable knight. That's all I really got for him. Okay, I guess we got all our players here. I uh, have one heal. One heal now. So this will be challenging too. And plus the other challenge too, um, Lacry Frost was uh, picking all the knights needed to go in to fight the Snake of Chaos. So these are the characters that are going to go. Yeah, well... <clears throat> well, the thing is, like, if I get the chance to do Dimension, I might. Uh, weakness could come in handy. Uh, Fallberg could be good. Kind of depends on what I'm going to fight against, what they doppelgang. And I have a Phoenix here, and I'm going to have a Red Dragon, so... I'll have a few Red Elements here, so if I get the chance to Fallberg something with her, then... That could come in handy. Um, I don't have any blue things on my team. At least I might not have any blue things on my team. I don't think I'm going to take a team it, so having Geno Bolt or Bolt Attacks isn't going to do much if I don't have the blue element to fight against. So that was also part of why I was thinking that too. But Geno Bolt does do a good amount of damage. It does hit further range, so that's always a good thing. But I haven't done Vixen enough. Not nearly enough, and I've never really put Esmeri through the Vixen class. I almost always go with Mystic almost all the time. So, I figure this is a good uh, sort of challenge, I guess. <laughs> give it, you know, give this a try. And I've never put Saraha through a Berserker class. I've always kept him as the Ninja Master. So he's going to be a Berserker and Ninja Master. And um, Rokod's here, so he's not amazing either, but Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do, let's see here, let's see, if they run right away, I'll do two more attacks, and if uh, if uh, not, then I might just do one more attack. I'm going to make these kind of shorter, and Friday you'll probably see me come back here do it again, uh, you know, go at it again, so hopefully we'll get, uh, we did make some progress, but hopefully we'll get the queen gone next next video on Friday. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. So. Uh, did I get everything right? Yep. I just need to get D here. Once I get D here, I'm getting rid of the unicorn and I'm going to pop D in here. Do we get any equipment, though? Got a Talon. There you go. And... Okay, we are good. Good to go. All right, we're gonna just do a dual attack here. I might as well, just to make sure I get this to go. Hopefully this will work out my favor. Is Scalio came into Hadrian? Oh man, they're not going to win. I mean, Leoness is not going to win because they are so beaten up and pushed all over the place. This is, uh, this could be it. If they run, this could totally be it. Miss Marie, should I level up? Gish a little bit? No. Let's, let's work on our main characters here. Once I get everything organized a little bit more, then I'll, I'll bring D down here. Which, he'll be here for this battle anyways. He'll be here to organize, so. 
I'll have them. Uh, hopefully, I'll get them mixed, mixed in. Uh, we really can't auto for this battle because I'm just way too close. By the time I know it, I'm there. These centaurs are going to go crazy jumping out the front lines, you know? I don't know if you saw the uh, the subscriber multiplayer gamble that I did that was just basically, you know, having fun watching the AI do what they do, and uh, we tried to organize their armies the best we could to make them good, but we just... We, we set them up, we, we sent them out to attack, and we just watched their performance, and... Uh, some of it was very intelligent, and sometimes it was just Kai running right out in the front lines and just dying immediately. It was so funny this last one. <laughs> you should watch the last video. You'll see the bloopers I have on there. Some of the some of the most interesting uh, moments that the AI did. But um, they did do some interesting things. The Norgard's team they have the Phoenix. They had the Queen's Phoenix, and the Phoenix actually did a Phoenix heal on its team. I think three times within two turns. So it healed up its whole team like three separate times. I was like, really? It actually did something super intelligent? I was like, wow. But it did. I was uh, thoroughly impressed. Very impressed with that. Okay, we're starting it up. Shoot you. I don't know if they're going to stay for this. I, I, I can't say. Uh... She could get hit once, and that's it. Don't want any more... You know what? Just to be sure, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, the East versus West, um, you're seeing a lot of the older popular stuff. There's still a lot of stuff that you probably haven't seen. Um, and uh, it just, I don't know, it just turned into a chaotic thing at the end. It was supposed to just be for fun. It wasn't supposed to be like people get hurt feelings because they're not doing well or that. Because that was the whole, the whole point of that was we were trying out the, um, the extra scenario, the ultra mode for this. And in the ultra mode, they give you all these overpowered monsters. Leoness had a level 30 Talus to start the game with along with a lot of high-level things. A Seraph, uh, a Titan, uh, the Phoenix, two Holy Griffins. I mean, it, like, every every leader had, like, super, super overpowered things. And it was so ridiculous that we were just trying to do it for fun. And I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know if ambitions got carried away. People got tired of playing it. I don't know what it was, but it'd be fun to do it more often. You know, but that was just to test out that scenario with everybody, and I wasn't really on board to do that. I didn't really want to do that scenario. I just wanted to do the basic, plain old whatever, you know, but... Um, there's plenty of other ones that we did where we made it more even. Um, there's one with uh, Valkos, Paul, and just me, and we just, we just basically played against each other, and that was just it. Um, there's another one where we're testing out the performance of Carleon versus New Amekia. And just the end game performance, not the beginning game performance. So we had like a little battle crucible in the middle of Lagres and those, you know, territories surrounding it that uh, would kind of, that's where you could fight, you know. So it kind of evened everybody's mana out every single turn. It, um, you know, evened out how much mana they'd get back. And, you know, if you attack too much, then you have, you have to defend more with kind of a weaker army. And so that gives the defense the initiative to come back, and then it could go back and forth. And So Carleon versus Nuomeki was really interesting. Um, that one was cool, too. But yeah, we still have a lot more that we can do. So there's there's a lot more things that we can do, and um, Vako said he would come back for some of that. So he'll probably be back later, so he kind of wants to take a break. I, I don't really need one, but he does. Um, and then uh, Paul might be here for some multiplayer soon, so we might do we might do some multiplayer soon. I was thinking about maybe Friday I might do that with Paul, but I haven't really talked with him, so I might do some more of this uh, LP on on Friday with Brigadine. 
But um, Paul might do some multiplayer with me, and we already have a few scenarios that we um, thought about doing. One that we never really did before, because we played through all of the castles on multi. We played through every country on multiplayer, teamed up against all the other guys, and mostly they were just fighting against us. We've already done that without the LP. Uh, personally, me and him, we've done it, except for we have not done Norgard and Leoness. So we might do a scenario where Norgard and Leoness are actually teamed up, like Viner didn't get a big head and go, ah, you know, and do and do what he does. He, we might play a scenario where, an imagined scenario where he actually does team up with Leoness, and so we might, Paul and I might play a scenario like that, just to see who does better points wise. You know, and uh, so we might do something like that. We might play against each other. But um, there will be another multiplayer coming very soon. So we do have that coming. But um, that's another part of my challenge. Because <laughs> trying to fight these multiplayers is, is really hectic. Because a lot of people that watch it, they think they know like exactly what you should do and line up. Um, but it's totally different when you're playing against a human. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Because... You would think so, but when you play against another human player, they could switch things up on you at any given point in time, and you're like, what? But no! <laughs> you know, I wanted this to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not happening like that anymore, because, you know, I move things over here, to because I, I know what you're planning. You know, I'm, like, I, I can see what you're planning. I can see through it. And I'm going to go and uh, change up my defense, so you can't, uh, you can't do that to me. And then, so... Stuff can be all over the place with human multiplayer, and that's that's the interesting thing. I actually started that for YouTube, and I think I'm the first one in history to actually start that on YouTube. So uh, if you ever look up any Burgundy multiplayer, it's just pretty much me so far. Um, and I've been trying to see if other people want to play too, but it's a uh, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to ask people that. Everybody, a lot of people have things going, and, and these multiplayers do take some time to get going, you know. Um, well, restrictions and stuff. The thing is, when you when you put challenges into like a. a a multiplayer it um, it takes it, some of it can take away from the strategic aspect of that what what um, Mike wanted to do in the initial one is he wanted to add challenges to like all this and we roll the die and we do a challenge and something this or that but some of the challenges were so bad for Paul that Paul was just going down in the tank just because of the challenge it wasn't like he was really doing terrible but his his challenges were just so bad that it, like he couldn't um, I can't remember what all the challenges were but there I think there were like six of them and he got the brunt he got the worst of them all it was it was quite hard to watch <laughs> it was pretty tough ice fall mm, I don't know anyways let's let's get going here I think I might do an ice fall just to give her some experience I think I might do that. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool topic to talk about. Um, it really is. If you're due to the channel, uh, the channel too, also go check out the Burgundine website that's um, up. You can uh, go post some topics on there. Uh, there's been a lot of people joining, but a lot of people like to just go through the topics and talk on the topics. But I'd like to see some more people actually create their own topics to talk about on the, the website itself which would be nice you know but um but yeah there, we're uh we're kind of reviving this whole thing you know i might be able to get more with uh geno frost actually might be able to do that let's try that Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, like, I've made some other moderators have the ability to accept applications, but they haven't been doing it. They haven't been doing their job, so I gotta go there and uh, go ahead and approve. All the things, do all the stuff. 
I have a lot on my plate, but I will finish it. <laughs> so probably after this, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and approve you for that. So don't worry, I'll get to it pretty quickly here. Uh, hopefully I can kill three of them with this. I wanted to do an ice fall, but this might give me more kills, might level up faster. You know, you know the whole thing. So no, not quite. That one, no, yeah. Oh, I thought it was better than that, but whatever. All right, Sabaha, we have to level you up, buddy. I'm gonna put you in danger. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in danger. They might wanna stay then. Let's get this, let's get this hell dog a hit. So let's try that. Uh, Nick, you can come up here. I don't need to have you do anything too serious right now. Maybe this other hell dog could get a kill, which I think can happen. Oh, he's flying, so the forest doesn't help him right here. Is he though? No, he's not. I'm mixing up the. This one's flying. This one I gave the Valiant Wings to, which I keep forgetting which one's flying. Okay, so. I think they'll leave. Um, what is it? It's been two hours here? Yeah, I might have to. I might finish things up next time. I might do it like that. I might do it like that, so. Because I'd like to make shorter um, LP clips for Burgundine, especially if I get more time to do it. Uh, and if I don't, then I'll probably make them kind of longer or something. But Yeah, but uh, after you sign up, after I uh, get you going with that, yeah, go ahead and make some topics. Talk to some members. You know, get some... Uh, Cool ideas going. There's there's plenty of things there. There's uh, there's artwork. I'm trying to fill it up with artwork. All the old Burgundy artwork, fan artwork, stuff like that. Um, trying to get that all going there. Um, there's plenty of topics. Uh, someone, uh, this guy named Jake Armitage, made uh, all castle map grids. So I put it that in a gallery. So there's gallery there. There's form section there. There's um, there's little chat box there. Uh, it's a it's it's pretty cool because the old one's gone you, you probably know the old one's gone so the old one's gone uh, someone else took the old sites um, link to try to use it for their particular game they're trying to make a burgundine esque game it's not gonna really be burgundine but they're they're trying to do something that's reminiscent you know so I I commend them for trying that but it's still like the fans aren't as impressed. They, they want number two. And I totally agree. That would be an amazing thing to have. Number two. Number dose. For uh, for this awesome game. But um, we've talked about that on a previous episode too. To such an extent that I was like, yeah. If someone was to work on uh, number two, I'd help fund it. I'd like to be a part of it. Uh, you know. This and that. The other thing. So... Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff on the website if you want to come back here, you know, watch some LPs with me and uh, have fun with that, you know, you can. Um, I do usually do the challenges to start the game. Uh, this time I kind of started, I just did the challenges up until the point that I got the three knights picked for the Snake of Chaos. Because if I go too far, then I'm kind of showing off uh, a lot of grinding, which... Not everybody wants to watch. Some people do want to watch, but not everybody does. So, anyways, I'll talk more about that later. Let's do some of the dialogue here and wrap things up. I don't have to retreat. Nick kept telling me, like, I got to retreat down to, like, two or three castles to get Shred unlocked. Not when you play the Empire. Not when... Kador leaves and you keep going. Esmeri just went there. 
Shred, I'm setting you free. So I get Shred right now. Why after so long? This mecha's revolt has succeeded. Ghidorah is left. There's no reason to keep you locked up. How? How could you love Zemeka so much, even fighting your brother for him? He and I are the same. We defy our fate. Perhaps I want to see what becomes of such people. You are free. Go where you will. I pose Zemeka for the sake of Omekia, but Omekia is gone now. Ascaris has risen, named after an ancient utopian nation. If he really strives to revive that utopia, I will join him. If he will have me. He needs people like you, and I will speak on your behalf. But before you go to the castle, there is another I must release. Soleil's mother? But if you do, Soleil will... Zemeckis never knew Soleil's mother was a hostage. It would stain his pride if he found out. Soleil may, may go. Perhaps he will stay. But there's nothing worse than being forced into a life you did not choose. You speak true, so I make my choice. I will join the fight to end this war for Zemeckis and you. Well, that's cool. Okay, so yep, that's that. I don't, I don't know if Soliel left. I don't, I don't remember where I put Soliel actually. Hope, uh, I hope he didn't leave. But um, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, it was good to have a chat with you, too. Hopefully you come back for the next stream. It's going to be on Friday. Um, I don't have anything planned right at the moment. But um, I will have to either do a bunch more LPs on Friday, or I might have a multiplayer coming up. But I have to talk about that with Paul and maybe somebody else and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening in the future. But so far, just plan that Wednesdays and Fridays at um, uh, it's gonna be 8 p.m. Central for a few hours at night um, that I'll be doing these LPs so if you want to come back those will be the times and um, yep oh yeah I put him here he did leave oh my gosh no <laughs> oh man now I gotta like reorganize all this stuff and I got more monsters that are lost come on Oh, man, but all the work I got to do next time. Jeez. Okay. So, I do have one extra night. Just, see, dude, the challenge of what I, what I have so far is, like, knights just keep losing. They just keep leaving me. I had two knights leave, then Kador left, Soliel left, and I just get shred out of this little fold, but I got to reorganize all the monsters again. This is, uh, kind of hard, you know? So, I think Soliel is going to come up here. I think that could work. I'll have to think about this for a while. Figure out where I want to put all these monsters and knights and stuff. This is, uh, this is tough. Plus, i got to reorganize D here, too. So, yep. I'll have to get to that um, on Friday. So, hopefully everybody enjoyed. And I will see you on Friday over the next Brigadine Grand Edition Escaras LP. So next time we will be able to knock out Queen Leoness. And we'll be able to do some damage down here. And as I get going, um, it's going to get easier. Because I might get some knights now. <laughs> I might. Just might. So, yeah, that's all I got for everybody. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, helps out my channel. It helps me grow a bit. Um, I've been starting to grow a little bit more and uh, trying to showcase this game, this uh, legendary game of old, is uh, one of my favorite things to do. So, yep, that's all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you on Friday. Have a good night.